hey everyone welcome back to my channel dental cafe so today we are going to discuss about how to trace the sinus tract okay then let's begin the video so first of all what is dental sinus so dental sinus is an abnormal channel that drains from long-standing dental abscess associated with a necrotic or a dead tooth or a carious tooth Try to understand with the figure. Look at the figure. As you can see, an abscess or an infection is associated with the tooth. And it, if it is chronic, it leads to formation of sinus tract, as you can see in the figure, and which result in a pimple type uh, swelling in the mucosa, and which is we call sinus tract. This pimple like swelling is called sinus, and the tract which the infection formed is called sinus tract so it's a channel that drains from long-standing abscess as the definition suggests associated with decayed or a carious tooth chronic carious tooth chronic uh, pathology associated with the tooth so this is a clinical image of dental sinuses as you can see a pimple like swelling which is a sinus and in the next figure you can very well see an infection or an abscess which is in uh, which is appear like a radiolucency in x-ray now the types of the dental sinuses how many types of dental sinuses are there so we have a two types of dental sinuses first one in the in, is the intraoral sinus means which is present inside the mouth and the second one is the extraoral or the orofacial sinus means the sinus which is pre present on the skin surface of the face or neck but the intraoral dental uh, sinuses are the most common and the majority of the necrotic teeth have uh, result in formation of intraoral sinuses what is the reason for dental sinus formation of course a chronic infection in long standing necrotic dental pulp long standing necrotic or a chronic necrotic dental pulp will result in formation of intraoral dental sinuses the most common cause of decay of dentition is due to caries or due to a trauma as you can see in the figure, we have a multiple carious dentition. In such cases, chances of formation of uh, sinus tract is very common because we have a multiple uh, carious tooth and this seems to be a chronic. Such cases have high chances of formation of sinus tract. Now, how you will diagnose whether it's a sinus tract or not? So there are a various way to diagnose uh, or trace the sinus tract but the most common one is the x-ray or the radiographic investigation so the first one is the x-ray show an area of bone loss around the root tip of chronically infected tooth look at the figure as you can see in this figure we have a chronic infection and which results in loss of bone with the x-ray how you can trace the sinus tract so we'll insert a zp cone is threaded into the opening of the sinus tract and the cone should be inserted until the resistant felt and then we'll take a x-ray then the origin of the sinus tract is determined by the part taken by the gp cone it confirms the sinus tract or the tooth which is involved involved and result in formation of sinus tract so begin with the first point of tracing of sinus tract as you can see in the video we have a sinus opening between the canine and the lateral as you can see a pimple like uh, swelling in the mucosa which is a sinus opening between the canine and the lateral when the involved tooth is not obvious we are in doubt like its opening is between a canine and the lateral then then uh, we'll trace the sinus tract uh, associated with which dentition with the help of gp cone as you can see in the figure gp cone is threaded into the opening of sinus tract and then cone should be inserted 
until the resistant felt will insert the cone until wheel uh, wheel felt resistance it means the bone resorption is occur till this point after that cone will not go inside once we felt resistance resistance then we'll take a radiograph it will confirm the diagnosis whether the tract is related to lateral incisor or to canine after taking a x-ray you can see the iupa is showing a gp cone so the origin of the sinus tract is determined by the part taken by the gp cone as you can see in the figure the gp cone uh, gp cone is related to the lateral incisor it means sinus tract is not related to the canine it is related to the lateral incisor now the second method to diagnose the sinus tract or to confirm the formation of sinus so during palpation an attempt should be made to milk the sinus tract production of prolonged discharge confirms the presence of tract if prolonged discharge is coming from the tract it coming from the sinus or a pimple like opening it means there uh, it is a sinus tract so look at the figure what we will do we will mill the sinus tract as you can see in the figure if the prolonged discharge produces as you can see in the figure discharge is coming out from the tract it means it confirms the presence of the tract so it's a sinus tract now what is the treatment option for a dental sinus if there is a tract formation in chronic decayed dentition then what is the treatment option the first we have a extraction either you can extract the dentition and the second you can do a root canal treatment uh, we can do a root canal treatment we can start antibiotics like penicillin or metronidazole nidazol, or we can do a extraction and after it uh, extraction it will take a one to two weeks to heal I hope this video is helpful for you to understand how to trace sinus tract. If you want more such kind of video, do comment on comment section. And yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for the latest video.